What is this? Oh, what is that? Oh, is that a knife? Survivor knife. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's on, dude. Hey, Colin. Hey, Siri. Come on. I'm Dallas. I'm on another river adventure today. I've got my metal detector. I'm in a super busy tubing river and there's a lot of tubers above me. I found phones, jewelry, GoPros, things like that in this river. I think we're going to find a lot of cool stuff today. Let's do it. Today's snack was recommended by Shreyas Chidi from YouTube. Holodrom's Kata Mitha from India. Let's give it a try. So we got some chickpeas, we got some puff balls of some sort. Looks like some cheese, Cheeto type of deal. Oh, interesting. Salty and sweet. Somehow it tastes like there's like eggs in here. It tastes like a hot meal. Some fascinating flavors. I like it. I'm actually a big fan. Shreyas Chidi from YouTube. I give this a solid. 8 out of 10. Honestly, that's my highest scoring snack so far. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what international snack I should try next. Don't hold back. I want to try some crazy stuff. Yeah! 
What is it? That's awesome, man. If you know what this is, if there's any uh, rodent or vomit experts in the comments, please let me know. I'm going to try to do some research on my own, but man, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god! Woo! That looks like an iPhone 10! With some water inside the case. So I'm gonna have to uh, get this home and see if it'll still work. Woo! Ah, oh, dude! Woo! Oh! Woo! What time? Oh my god! It's a twelve. First, uh, what is this, man? You got an iPhone 11 or 12, right? Oh, it's on, dude! <laughs> Should we call him? What the heck? It's still on! <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey Siri, call mom. Oh, it's not, uh, it doesn't have service. It might have some water inside if it doesn't have service yet. If you can, I'll try to turn it off. That's what I always try to do. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Welcome to my glorious shop. We got a lot of stuff today. Uh, Mike actually lives in New York. I have all of the stuff that he found and that I found. Let's take a look real quick at the best stuff. This is a magnet. It still works. I got a lot of these crappy sunglasses. I didn't recognize any of the brands. So I'll be uh, probably throwing all those away. I got myself a gauge, a couple of these little vape mods. Mike found this awesome knife. I can't even tell what brand it is because the blade is so deep into the knife. Kids goggles and a snorkel. This could be that same kid. Survival knife. So it says Survivor. There is something in this little pocket here. I'm gonna see if I can pull that out. Oh, wow. It might just be dirt. Quite a bit of recycling and quite a bit of trash. This awesome skull of something. I still don't know what it is. I know some of you guys are experts, so let me know if you guys can tell me what animal this belongs to. We got this. I've had them drying out in this tub of silica gel beads for the last couple of days. This is the iPhone 10 that I found. Check this out. So I looked it up, this is actually an iPhone 12. A 12 Pro Max, I believe, yeah. It's been sitting in this tub of silica gel beads for a couple of days. I really think it's all the way dried out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, power both of these on right now and try to find the owners. All right, let's go ahead and try phone number one. This is my iPhone 10 that I found. I haven't tried this yet, guys, so you see it when I see it. Let's see if it tries to power on. And I'm looking at my screen right now on my camera, so you might see it before I do. Oh, it is! <laughs> It's trying to power on guys, so it still works. All right, here's phone number two, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's see. Oh, it's working. <laughs> wow, oh, it vibrated. Yep, works perfectly. Guys, while we're waiting for these phones to try to power up, I'm gonna quickly show you the sponsor of today's video. I've actually been using their wallets for uh, about nine months now. I love them, and they just sent me some brand new ones. Let's check them out. Father's Day is just around the corner, and this is the year that you're gonna break him from this monstrosity. I mean, what, what is this? Your dad does not need all of this 
plus back pain, all right? This is the Ridge wallet. Literally everything that I need is in this wallet. It can hold up to 12 cards, plus there's still room for cash. I've been personally using the Ridge wallet as my only wallet for the last eight months plus, and it's, it's held up like a champ. They use really, really nice material, and so these things are built to literally last for an entire lifetime, and if it does have an issue, then it's backed by a lifetime warranty. My favorite thing about the wallet, though, is how easy it is to access all the different cards inside. All you do is push, pull, squeeze. Ridge Wallet's constantly coming out with new designs and they just sent me some new ones. This is the Burnt Titanium, which I absolutely love. This is the Stonewashed Titanium that I was just showing you a little bit earlier. And if you wanna go absolutely bonkers this Father's Day, get him the 18 karat gold-plated Ridge Wallet. He will not be disappointed. But they have over 30 different styles and colors to choose from. Whichever one you choose though, make sure to poke my link down below in the description. It's gonna give you 10% off on your purchase and your dad's gonna thank you for the rest of his life, guaranteed. Oh, I can't say that. Let's get back to the video. I'm putting the owner's SIM card in this uh, tray and putting it in this old iPhone that I've had for like 15 years, it feels like. Sometimes it will show me the phone number on the uh, SIM card. It worked. Did you lose an iPhone in the river? All right, now let's try the uh, iPhone 12 SIM card. Hey, I got it right away. They just texted back. Uh, yeah, I did, but like that was over a year ago. <laughs> Over a year ago, how did you even get this number, LOL? I am a scuba diver and uh, I think I found your phone, man. <laughs> so I don't know this. I never thought I was gonna see that phone. <laughs> it was well over a year ago, probably a year and a half. I was probably out there, I, think, I wanna say it was like 2019. Like Wow. June or July, cause I was in that area cause my sister was getting married. It did have water inside the case. Um, oh yeah. But like I, I pulled it out and I, put it in some silica gel beads and let it dry out and stuff. And it works, man, it still works. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to get it back to you. I appreciate you contacting me, man. That's pretty cool. Great to meet you, man. And uh, we will be in touch, all right? All right, man, sounds good. Take all right, easy. all right, see ya. While we were talking to Marshall, I got a text from the iPhone 12 owner. Let's go ahead and see what he said. He said, dude, I have watched your stuff before. And he said, yes, I can call him. So I'm gonna give him a call right now. Hello, my friend. Hey. See, my buddy found it, but he doesn't live out here. So he gave it to me to try to refine the owner to it. I'd love to get it back to you, man. Yeah, I'm literally there right now. Oh, you're at the river right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm at the boat in right now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> he said he's at the river where he dropped it uh, right now. So I'm gonna head down there right now and get this back to him. Let's do the password test, make sure you get it and everything. <laughs> this is awesome. Just got this printed like last week, so you're the first customer, man. Wow. <laughs> We're right at the top of the chute, and I was with my pal with his family and everything, and we were going down. Totally forgot that I placed my phone in the Ziploc bag in the tube. Yeah. I was taking care of it the whole time down the chute, and I realized at the end, I was like, Oh, that is gone. How long did you have the phone before you dropped it, man? Maybe like two months. Oh, it's, it's, it's a brand painful. new 12. Boom. That was awesome. Josh was super appreciative to get that phone back. Thanks again to my dive buddy, Mike, for finding it. I can't take credit for that one, but it was definitely worth it. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.